So, TV televangelist Pat Robertson, who I personally consider to be the worst of the televangelists and the right-wing commentators, recently said three very similar things on his shows. I'm just going to cover them all three at once. And those are... Challenging Trump means revolting against God. God is working on behalf of Trump, and God gave America a respite with Trump's election. Now, all three of those things are basically the exact same claim that God is tr who Trump works for. Trump is doing God's will. And I'm just sitting there thinking, well, Pat, it doesn't it work both ways? Why is it that when a Republican's in office, it's God's will? But when a Democrat's in office, it's Satan. I thought God, if God controlled everything, which he does it, by the way, he's not real. Wouldn't God be the one who's picking what we do? Wouldn't God be the one who's interfering? If he interferes with elections, then you cannot say Obama's election was satanic. Because then you're being a hypocrite. Oh, who am I kidding? Right-wing commentators don't care about consistency. They only care about pandering. And here's the thing that, that's the main thing that's confusing me. And for that matter, saying being against Trump is revolting against God. Wasn't Jesus a socialist? In fact, I remember seeing Secular Talk breaks this down all the time that Jesus was very far left. He was farther left than most people. But you're going to ignore that because you're a right wing um, televangelist. Oh, by the way, um, remember how Jesus said that it's really hard for rich people to get into heaven? Yeah, Pat, remember how much money you're making a year with your televangelism? Yeah. But of course you're going to ignore that. So yeah, it's just an interesting story. I thought it's a little breather. The normal stuff we see, and that's really it. Answer for a drunk good night.